Welcome to Better Musician and our free sample guitar lesson. My name is Doug Dunbar and today we're going to learn three basic chords that you will find in many praise and worship songs. Now, if you've gone to church for a while and you have a contemporary praise band, you may recognize that as a song like, Lord, I Lift Your Name on High or Enough. Uh, Paul Balash and Chris Tomlin use these chords all the time, and they're just very standard in all forms of praise and worship music today. So let's take a closer look at those three chords. The first thing we want to do with these three chords is notice what the third and the fourth finger are doing or not doing, more precisely. They are not moving at all. They're going to stay down here at the first and second string and at the third fret. So all three chords have this sound on top as the highest notes. Now the second finger is going to do a bunch of work here. It's going to play the first note up here on the sixth string and make this a G chord. Then it's going to move down one string and press down on the fifth string and that'll be our C chord. Now as it's doing that it's also resting against the string below it so it mutes that string. And so those are our first two chords. A G chord, this finger on the sixth string, move down one string and we're playing the C chord, technically a C2 chord but you can use it for any C. The next one is going to use just the first finger, the second finger will come off and I'm going to tuck it down a bit so you can see it best. Uh, and it's going to play at the second fret uh, on the third string and that's going to give us our D sus chord. Suspension, it's kind of hanging there. Okay, so our three chords are G, then C, and then D. And to complete the cycle, we're just going to go back to C. So there's four chords in the cycle. G, C, D, and then back to C. Okay, now we're looking at what the right hand has to do to play these chords cleanly. Now on the G chord, we're playing all six strings. So our second finger is holding down. Uh, the sixth string, we want to play all six strings. On the C chord, our second finger and, and the left hand is moving down one string. We want the pick hand to do the same thing. Now one of the tricks I do with my left hand is my, my second finger is muting that sixth string too, so it, I, I can get away with playing all six strings. Some people with smaller fingers, they have to miss that string. Um, so. Practice just playing the five strings on the C chord. So six strings, then five strings. We go to the D chord. We don't want to start where that first finger is. We actually need to start on an open string, the D string. And so that gets all the notes there. We don't want to hit all six strings on this one for sure because this E note down here really messes up a D chord. Your, your worship pastor is not going to like that. Don't play this, okay? Okay, so four strings on the D chord, five strings on the C chord, and six strings on the G chord. Now we're going to look a little closer at some of the strumming patterns for this. Okay, our chord cycle is G, C, D, and then back to C. We want to strum each of these chords two times. So I'm just going to play this a couple times for you, just to, so you can watch where the pick is landing and what, what needs to happen here. So we're just going to go one, two. Now that's basically the chorus for Chris Tomlin's song, Enough. All right, to bring this chord pattern to life, we need to double up the strumming, throw in maybe an up strum near the end of, the, end of each chord. So it goes something like this. We still 
still have that one, two, one, two feel, but we're just going to kind of. And that, and that needs to be nice and solid. So as people are singing, they don't feel like they're lost or the time's wandering anywhere. And really work on kind of keeping the rhythm really solid through that. And you can use this chord progression to join a couple songs together. Uh, Lord, I lift your name on high. Uh, enough, even God of Wonders, those three songs all use these same chords and would flow really nicely one to the other. So you could end up, you know. Love you is more than enough for all of me, for every thirst and every need. You satisfy me. See, it's just that easy just to flow one song into the next with these really basic chords. And so have fun with those and uh, uh, learn lots of songs. Uh, lots of our praise and worship songs today have those exact chords in them. Maybe a few variations here and there, but that's basically, you can go a long way with just those three chords. Well, that wraps up our main part of the lesson for today, and we've changed things around. We've got uh, uh, our live chat streaming now. And so if you have questions, just kind of hop on and, and ask away, and we'll, uh, we'll go to that now. Okay, so our first question comes from Josh, and he's asking, can you use these same uh, chords on the electric guitar um, as on the acoustic guitar? And the answer to that is yes. There, there's really no difference between the two instruments. Mm -hmm. However, you do want to play them differently. We don't want to just kind of pick up the electric guitar and think we've uh, got the same instrument, therefore I can just kind of strum away. It doesn't sound quite the same, and you're playing a bit of a different role in the band with an electric guitar. What we want to do with this is be a little lighter and just kind of pick the individual notes. And do something a little different that adds to the music with that. Or you can just leave out the low notes altogether. And create kind of a texture in the background. So that's how you could use that on the electric guitar. Now, Lisa is asking that uh, a question regarding uh, the chord symbols that she's seeing on some, some music that her worship pastor has given her. And they're the C2 slash E chord in the G over B that are in, this, uh, in the song Enough by Chris Tomlin. Now you could ignore the, the part that's on the right hand side of that slash. There's the C2 and then a slash, forward slash, and then an E. Now you could ignore that. That's the bass note. The, the information on the left hand side of that slash is the chord that you're playing. But if you actually can incorporate that, you need to learn a few, few more chord, chord shapes, it sounds a little bit better. So like a... It's going from the G chord to a C over E to the D chord to that. But you can generally ignore that for now until you learn those other chords. Now Mike has a question too about finger picking. Is there a way, because this is kind of a slow song, uh, that we could put the pick down and, uh, and do something with finger style guitar. And so um, I'm going to de demonstrate two things that you could do with this. The chords in the left hand are exactly the same. What we're going to do with the left hand is just kind of do a pattern where we play the thumb, the first finger, the second finger, and the third finger. Okay, so what we're going to do with the right hand here is the thumb is going to take the lowest note of the chord. So on the G chord, it's going to play the sixth string. On the C chord, it will play the fifth string. And on the D chord, it will play the D string, or the fourth string, open. So it'll just be doing this. And it's only going to play each of those notes once when we change the chord. So one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Now the fingers can go 
We're going to do just a simple pattern where we go first finger is on the third string, second finger on the second string, and third finger on the first string, and they're just going to play one, two, three. So it's going to go thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger. So it'll sound like this. Well, that wraps up our sample guitar lesson. Thank you for checking out Better Musician. We'll see you next time in the class.